A home debut tonight for another of Villa's new signings, Darius Kubicki, a 28-year-old Polish international, the latest of eight players now recruited by manager Ron Atkinson in his short time in charge here. Well, Kubicki, who played in the one-all draw at Southampton on Saturday, lines up at right back as Villa are forced to make one change in attack. Gary Penrice returning to replace Dalian Atkinson, who's injured his hamstring again. In the previous home game against Arsenal, Penrice scored his first Villa goal in a 3-1 victory over the champions. Crystal Palace include the former Villa midfielder Andy Gray in an unchanged team. They've so far played only three matches, losing at Manchester City, but beating both Wimbledon and Sheffield United and continuing their reputation as a team always likely to score goals. An early attack of real danger here, and Spink did well to get down on the near post. Solarco, the architect of a dangerous opening move by Crystal Palace. Well, anyway, the scorer, Ian Wright. What a start for Crystal Palace. Less than four minutes gone, and Crystal Palace take the lead. Ian Wright, who's now scored in three of four matches on the end of it. This the goal, Rich Cross, almost an own goal at this stage, Jimmy. Well, it had danger written all on it from the minute that uh, Palace got the ball in midfield, and it was a great ball played through to... Uh, there's Eddie McGoldrick on, on the ball there. That's a bit unfortunate by the defender, but there's Ian Wright, and it's in the back of the net. And you have to say that Palace do look dangerous every time they go forward, even... Cowens, daily dispossessed. McGoldrick gives it back to Staunton. Chipped in dangerously towards Penrice. Now Regis. Richardson. Good chip. Daly! Great appeal for handball as the shot struck John Humphrey, but the referee has said play on. Regis. He's done well here, Regis. Brilliant play by Cyril Regis. And pulls it back for Penrice. Goal kick. Penrice curses his luck. Hammer, but it was played over his head. Humphrey. McGoldrick. Skips around Staunton. And in towards right and bright in the centre of the goal. It comes back to Humphrey again. This is McGoldrick. Good looking ball, Bright climbing high and turned over by Thomas. Our post and he finds him and he should have done better. Mark Bright from a matter of yards out did what his captain Jeff Thomas had done earlier and hit the ball over the bar. McGoldrick again getting a great crossing and that's four or five he's got in and Bright will be really annoyed with himself there they're playing and Teal doing well to meet it this time only as far as Salako though turns it in Thomas another close range effort by Crystal Palace Cowens with the shooting opportunity Four, and he still gets it and Penrice tries to force it in and what a scramble that was and Palace grateful that only a corner has resulted from it Daly skies the best opportunity Villa have had so far Daly and he's won the free kick and Thomas could be in trouble with the referee I think he'll be cautioned for that it's the second time in quick succession he's conceded a free kick and he can't complain here. I think he had the misfortune of having two bad tackles inside the last minute. And this one he's pulled Daly back. I don't think you can argue with the decision there. It's a definite book. Staunton's free kick looks for Regis and it almost made the target as well. For this goal, Villa are attacking. Staunton. Offside is it? No, Penrice. Richardson. And neither of them could accept the gift. Oh, it's got to hold up or go alone. 
he's going alone and that was a measured shot along the ground and for the handball by Thorne and it's pulled back for Penrice and blocked somehow by Humphrey well, we could have had a real controversial moment then because as Penrice broke through seconds before that Thorne thought seriously about handling the ball to stop it he would surely have gone off if he had done so well this is the incident and there's a good pull played through by Paul McGrath here and it's caught everybody out oh I'm not sure about it but having said that Kevin Richardson comes in a great ball back and actually it's a good tackle but again you've got to say that Gary Penrice might have got there a little bit earlier and Burns. excellent goalkeeping by Nigel Martin read the danger and got out quickly enough but still Villa have it Kubitsky Look for Orman Roy, back to Cowens. Difficult moments for Palace. And finally, Sinnott gets it clear. Here's Staunton. Thomas beats him. And a good counter-attack. Bright and Bright combining again. This is Bright. McGoldrick. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's brilliant play. In towards right. Not the best cross after doing so well in the approach. Well, Bright is onto it, and Bright is totally unmarked in the middle here. The referee has actually blown the final whistle before they could have a shot on goal. It mattered not anyway, because this man's goal, early in the game, has settled it. Ian Wright scoring the only goal of the match. Overall, Crystal Palace deserve three points, and they've now won three of their opening four games.